Hello, folks, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Let's go ahead and start a brand new shift. Pretty sure our tools are probably... They're probably fine. Oh, right. They wanted to train us on atmospheric ships. I suppose that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Let's go ahead and do the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. The, the ship's like 95% there. Whatever. It's fine. Do not use the split saw to slice any matter of baked goods. So, like, no slicing bread with it. I'm okay with that. That makes sense. But does that mean we can slice other things? Right? They're being specific. They didn't say no food. They said no baked goods. So, sausages are fine. Slicing meat, totally good. Um, trying to think of other things that aren't baked goods. What do we usually slice? Not bagels. Not allowed to do bagels. Bagels are baked. Well... Are they, though? I mean, you finish them in the oven, but really, they're kind of boiled first, and then they're baked? I guess it, it's a close enough distinction. I think you can go ahead and say they're baked. Um, let's see. What else do I slice? What else am I slicing? Can't think of anything else. Sausage would be my main one. Slice open some cheese. There you go. Not baked. Definitely, you don't bake cheese. Well, it cooks, but I wouldn't call it baked. All right. Hey, we were. Thinks so. she's the expert on pressurized ships. So, I'm gonna let her take the lead on this one. <laughs> you give me a hard time, but you know I'm good. Okay, Rook, time for the fun stuff. And by fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. Oh, good. You're in good hands. Take it away, Lou. Okay, first rule. Always scan ahead. Ships can have pockets of pressure anywhere inside them. Let's have a look. Activate your scanner now. Scanner up. Your scanner shows the pressure state of every compartment. Red labels are unpressurized. Green are pressurized. Cut between a red room and a green room, and boom. Violent decompression. The correct term is explosive decompression. Explosive. Same deal. If we cut this ship now, it pops. Only safely in is through an airlock. If you can't find one, they show up on your scanner, too. Uh, you see that. Okay, there we go. Airlock's over there with the giant arrow next to it. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Giant arrow next to it anyway. All right, enter through the airlock. Roger that. Good. Now cycle the airlock. airlock Shouldn't be a switch in there. Uh, there we go. All right. Come on, light, please. Thank you. And you're in. From inside, you can safely depressurize with an atmosphere regulator. Should be one nearby. Give it a go. I mean, you're going to point it out nicely for me? Oh, yeah, there it is. Right there. Right in front of my face. All right. Press the magic button. Let's do this. Hey! All right, look! Either you're a fast learner or... I'm an amazing teacher. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to depressurize a ship violently. Uh, explosively? All right, Weaver, we get it. Explosively. Soon as you hear that warning, grab onto something. Seriously, you don't want to get sucked through a one-inch hull fractor. Believe me, it's unpleasant. Sometimes different areas of the ship have their own pressurization systems. So remember, always scan ahead. Now. Hey, Weavers, why don't you take the rest of the day off and I'll demo my patented reactor rodeo technique. <laughs> nah, that's all right there, Lou. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hot tip. You know all the supplies you can buy at the kiosk? You can actually scrounge a lot of that stuff for free from the ship. We've been totally doing that. Come on now, Lou. You know that's against the rigs. <sighs> that's just because they want us to spend every penny at the company store. It's also not safe. Well, nor sanitary. Come on, what? You know how long that stuff's been floating around and all that grime and dust? They're vacuum sealed, Weaver. Oh, probably well past their expiry date. Okay, well, it's not like I'm saying to steal power cells and flip them on the black market. Look, Lou, I need you to try and follow the rules now, you hear? 
Yeah, whatever, boss. <laughs> Catch you later, Rook. Blew out. Cutter, I encourage you not to huff any old can of oxygen you find, but if you do, please just monitor your vitals after. Oh, and for God's sake, don't eat anything you find. Anyway, have a good shift. Holler if you need me. Weaver out. That was weird. I don't know why that floor took so long to get out of there. What the hell, dude? Okay, get that over that way. With this area depressurized, we should be good. Hmm. hmm. It seems to indicate only the cabin was depressurized, and we've got compartments that are still pressurized. Uh, that can't be right. Hold on. No, no, the cockpit's depressurized, cabin's depressurized. Okay. Yeah, the compartments still have... Hmm. That's trouble, though, because we need to get inside those compartments at some point. Maybe not right this second, but soon for the rest of our lives, so... Get you over here. Drop that in barge. Alright, let's go ahead and drop some more of these floors. Oh, I'm gonna have to... Oh, yeah, that thing's attached. It should be fine. I don't know what's up with our helmet right now. Oh, you know what? When's the last time I repaired my helmet? The correct answer is never. I have never repaired my helmet. So that would explain that. That would definitely explain that. So we've got to do that next shift for sure. Okay, go ahead and drag this bad boy down. This thing goes in the barge. I'm gonna back up a little bit here just in case. Of course, then I bring it towards me, which is debatable. And then right down center field, off you go. Alright. No worries, that's an easy part. I do appreciate the free ship they're giving me here too, so that's great. Uh, that'll get over there eventually, there you go. Okay, just keep on popping floors, just to be on the safe side here. Alright, pop you. And pop you. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. I mean, at least it tells me unpressurized cabin. Is this part of the hub for that? So in case you're ever curious whether or not you're actually in an unpressurized part, there's totally a part of the UI that'll tell you that. The UI is kind of busy, but... It's funny, I, I read some uh, developer blogs on this game. And there was a lot of discussion at the time about, okay, so are we being, like, evil, like, links in-game evil, or are we being evil, like, you know, links as in the game development company evil? Like, is there, like, a reason why we're doing this type of thing? And there are apparently a lot of discussions around those lines. Like, okay, whose decision are we making here? Because we gotta decide, like, is this actually good for the user? And if not, are we doing that on purpose? It's got to be, like, a very interesting line to draw. All right, we'll just go ahead and drag that whole thing right over. Because that all goes in the processor anyway. Oh, right. Okay, so I thought it started attached. Off you go. Off you go. All right. Engine should be fine. But there's... Uh, is there no cut point? Huh. There's no external cut points. Um, hmm. Okay. We can work with that, I think. I think it must be inside, then? It's gotta be inside. Yeah, there's no way we cut that. Alright, so... How does that work? First off, we need some oxygen, for sure. I thought I saw some oxygen in here. Uh, that's thruster fuel. I don't actually see any oxygen. No oxygen for me. A couple of ship repair stuff. My shirt, my ship, my suit, rather, is hurting a little bit. That's a tool repair kit. I also need it. Now there's auction right there. There we go. Uh, let's see, is that... That's a patch kit. Which did not get applied for some reason. Okay. I mean, maybe the two dots on the left are just always supposed to be red. Maybe that's just how that goes. But that's just how that goes. Alright, come down with me. 
Weaver's probably right. Probably do not want to eat the crisp packet that's been in there for who knows how long. So that one too. Come on. Down you go. I mean, they're vacuum sealed, but like, do you trust that? Not to mention, vacuum sealed is a different story than, you know, made radioactive, and cosmic radiation is a thing. Like, I'm all for microwaving food, but that's not exactly the kind of radiation you're usually talking about when you're talking about space. When you're talking about being in space, you're usually talking about the very, very bad kind of radiation that can give you, you know, cancer or three-headed children or whatever it is. Like, you want to make sure you're talking about the right kind of radiation here. Of course, that same radiation, depending on dosage, could also, you know, cure you of cancer. Won't do anything for your three-headed kids, though. Your, your kids are still going to have three heads. Sorry about that. Just how it goes. Backing up a little bit here. I don't know why. I guess just that... It's Isaac Newton's the meanest son of a bitch in space, I suppose. Oh, that reminds me. The PlayStation Plus game this month is Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That could be fun. I'm currently playing this game, but eventually. Applying credit to eventually, account. three or four years from now. Uh, that is apparently not grabbable. Cannot grab this thing for the life of me. All right, well, so much for that. Grab this, though. Hatch kit done. Okay, don't need thrusters yet. Can I? Okay, can I actually put the thruster fuel? I can't put it anywhere. There's nowhere to put this thing. I guess I could chuck it in the furnace. Chuck it in the furnace. It'd be a hell of a waste, though, but I guess I could do it. Pop the ceiling here. Pop two of these. I think they pretty much all go to the same place anyway. Um, that should launch two pieces. Why did it only launch one? Might be misunderstanding something here. Admittedly, it would not be the first time. Okay, this part should be going. Come on, up you go. Heave! Put your back into it, man! Really put your thruster into it. That's really what you need to be doing. Not quite the same sound to that, though. Put your thruster into it, man! I mean, it sounds like... You could probably do it. Alright, connect you bad boys together. And then away you go. Okay, so then... Is this thing... Oh, it's connected over here. That's what might be explaining it. What is this? It kind of looks like it's a cargo airlock, maybe? Don't see a way to open it from here, but it's got its own separate clamps and everything, so it seems super strange. Oh, yeah, just one side, too. Okay, so it says cargo. Oh, yeah, it is a cargo hatch. There you go. I can read sometimes when the wind is suddenly. Off you go. Uh, all that. Oh, really? That's processor piece, huh? Okay, so that must come out then? Alright, there we go. There we go. So then why separate it? Okay, so there, there's no reason to really hatch those then? Whoops. Um, cargo hatch not accepted. Wait, did I do that wrong? Was the cargo hatch actually a furnace? Cargo hatch, that's why you separate them, because the cargo hatch is furnace. Okay, I did that wrong. That would explain that. That would totally explain that. Alright, I don't need the patch, the, that patch kit yet, but we might later. Can I disassemble? Uh, can I open this door? That's gonna happen. Airlock depressurizing. Okay, so the air airlock depressurizes, and then it opens, right? Yeah, there you go. And because the pressure is even on both sides, we should be good. But looking at this... Yeah, those are still pressurized. How do you depressurize the side passageways? There's got to be a way. Huh. Um, I guess what we need to do is ignore that for now. Let's see if we can pop the engine here. 
Oh, I need to get more, more oxygen before I, you know, die. I can't use this at all, so just go ahead and detach this. Okay, right through here, and drop you in the barge. There you go. And I'll go ahead and pick up some oxygen. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Why would you pressurize the inside of the cap? I'm sure there's a good reason for it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you do that? I mean, I guess if you have passengers inside, you want some kind of security, but wouldn't it be better if it was not pressurized? Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. I don't really need the thruster fuel, so I'm going to leave it. Have a nice day. So I just thruster fuel in there. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Let's, let's grab the engine first. Let, let's ignore this for right now. There's a way to do this, and we'll figure it out. But I don't want to. I don't want to be stupid here. We already messed up the cargo bay because I wasn't paying attention, so, or the cargo hatch rather. So I'd rather not mess up the rest of this. Let's take out this side uh, flange. Whatever the hell this thing is. Okay, let's take out the antenna first. That's a barge item. Dead simple. Drop you in. Easy peasy. Take out this. Account credit applied. Take out. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, come down. And, oh, not far graph. There we go. And I guess you just pop it from the outside. That seems super dangerous, though. Tether. And away you go. If I get out of the way. Probably should have gotten out of the way first, to be honest. Alright. Away you go. Yeah, that's fine. We come apart all at once. I don't care. Okay, let's do the engine next. Actually, the engine itself might not be a bad idea here. Let's go over to the engine. actual thruster itself here. It looks like it's just regular. I don't see any connection points here, so I think we're good. Okay, take the antenna first, because it's kind of just in the way. There you go. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Now, whether or not this thing's going to just pop out is another question, but... Oh, yeah, there we go. Just pops right out. So, you go into the processor. There you go. You go in the barge. Oh, no, I can't seem to pull you out. Are you connected? Don't see any connections point for this, but I could be wrong. It's not grabbing. It'll pull me in more than anything. Okay, so it must be connected on the other side, and I just don't see it. Uh, let's go inside and see what's up there. Um, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there's uh, something connected here. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's got a piece there. I probably need to go ahead and disassociate with here, the thruster deactivator thing. Yeah, adjustment switch. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Up. Over. There we go. Okay, now that the thruster is theoretically ejected, now we should be able to pop out of the ceiling here, eventually. And get the right ceiling. There we go. And they should be able to pop right out. There you go. That was it. Down you go, and no worries. Okay. A good chunk of change there, too. Transferring credit. Hmm, alright. I've got to remove this explosive thing. That worries me a little bit. I think if we take out the floor, that's probably going to be our best bet here. It's going to be a little careful, but we'll be fine. Just don't hit anything crazy. Okay, no, it's fine. We're good. No worries. You go to the processor. Where you go. Don't hit me on your way out. Thank you. 
any buttons or anything I need to press over here. This looks pretty simple. Looks like we just disconnect this and we're good to go. Don't see any buttons or anything we need to press. There's some things we can need to disconnect, but that's after the thruster has been taken out. Looks the fuel rider has been taken out. So let's take it out. Looks good. No worries. Can you go? Okay, so then these should be empty. So we go ahead and just Salvage disassemble them. Has to get pretty hot to do it, though. Okay, that worked. Actually, that didn't work. Holy crap. There we go. No, no, we got it. We got it. Okay, and remove you. I'm a little worried about the side here not being depressurized. I think we have to cut it up with Oh, why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Okay, these are processor places, right? Yeah, okay. Let's drop down and throw them in the processor. There you go. Uh, can I just... Over here. If I can, like, grab these and then just look down when we do it. It's probably the best way to go. Let's grab you, pull you over. Nice. Level one. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. First time I think we've ever done this ship, too. Oh, get me right in the face. Right in the face. I need that face. Okay. Down. Down, down. Do be down. There. Okay, try not to hit yourself in the face. Very important safety tip. Typically, construction jobs, or disassembly jobs for that matter, would really prefer if you didn't destroy your own face. And the company has to pay for a new one, it's a whole thing, they really just don't like it. Okay, I think we can go ahead and safely go ahead and take apart the ceiling. Realize our auction's almost done. Should we be able to do the ceiling before we take off, though? Okay, so then you go in the processor. Your cutter looks like you used your last tether. Head on over to the kiosk to pick up some more. That's fine. Tethers are cheap. I thought for sure Weaver was going to complain about my auction level, which admittedly is a little low. But only a little bit. Breathe through your nose, it's fine. I mean, she probably should breathe through your nose anyway. I mean, that's just healthier. Your nose has a whole bunch of mucous membranes and everything that really, you know, kind of make sure that you don't get sick. Have a nice day. If you breathe through your mouth a lot, you're more likely to get sick faster. Was I breathing my mouth when I sleep? Can't really help that. Can't help what I do when I sleep. Supposedly there's a way you can like lock your jaw when you sleep. Like the actual like I don't know, like a like a mask you can wear that kind of just keeps your jaw in place, but I that sounds super uncomfortable to me. Does not sound like a good time. I think we can go ahead and take the back half of the sh or not but the back half, but the back part of the ship off. Um let's go ahead and just take those four there. Of course, the trouble is, if it's not depressurized, this is going to explode out. We're about to find out. Yep. There's our explosion. That wasn't actually too bad. That wasn't actually too bad. I expected far, far worse. So that'll, that's one way to depressurize it. Yep, all depressurized now. <laughs> that might have been the safest way to do it, though. I don't think there was another way. I think that was it. I think that's all we could have done. And maybe I'm wrong, but... Okay. I'm assuming we need to flush the valve in order to make sure that the pipes don't explode when we cut them. So we'll do that for both sides. 
Would have been nice for them to tell us that, but whatever, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Um, huh. Oh, no, there we go. I can pull it. I know my tethers are fine for this. Can you go. And I think you should be detached as well. You are great. So down you go. Okay. That could have been worse. Um, that piece goes in the processor, so I guess we need to cut it, or do we? The whole back side goes in the processor, so maybe not. Okay, give her the pipe junction. And let that temp cool down, and then go ahead and pop this. Okay. Away you go, right in the processor. And away you go. Right in the processor. Yep. Just making sure none of these other pieces go anywhere else, but it looks like the entire thing just goes in the processor. I think we're good. Alright, tether away. Just don't get pulled into the furnace is all I ask. Used to be a problem back in the beta. Let's see if they fixed it. Not even a hint of it going into the furnace. So I think we're good. All right, so that's the backside. So then that might be the easiest way to do that. Ooh, that's an electrical thing over there. That's gonna be a problem. Applying credits to account. Okay. How am I gonna do this? The best way to do this. Might be to cut down the line here, right? That'll separate the the hole from the from the internal walls. And we just pull them all aside, and that's probably the easiest way to do this. And then just pull them one at a time into the processor. Um, into the into the processor. There we go. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna just do one side at a time. There's no reason to go both. Oh, that engine though goes in the barge, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Can we separate that? Uh, no. Well, not yet. Deposit accepted for processing. I'm missing something. I don't know what I'm missing yet. Okay, hold the light. Lights are worth at least 5k, so off you go. And then you go in the processor. Don't trip when you do it. Why did that not work? Oh, because well, I need to do it from the outside. Okay, I've been doing it from the inside. That wouldn't work. Okay, electrical subsystem. What do we got? It's a thing. Class 1 reactor. Oh, it's a reactor. Oh, crap. Okay, being in a reactor, it has very high chance to explode. It once we disassemble it. So, is there a way? Hmm. Don't see a way to pull it from there. How do we detach the engine? Okay, I think what we do is we detach the side here with the engine. Just ignore the reactor for now. Okay, and then what we're going to do is pull this up to one of the jacks. So that's the jacks are for, right? Just to give you room to move some complicated shit. So, up you go. Complicated shit away. Oh, the other side. It's attached to both. It's attached to... No, actually, it isn't attached to both. It's attached to just this one. We have to act like it's attached to both. So, pop that one, too. Um, it's still not going to be enough. I think I need to go in. Don't touch the reactor, then we're good. Okay, things are coming apart. Great. Oh, there's the junction points there. Okay, so that's how you move the engine. Got it. What are we going to do with you, Mr. Reactor? As soon as I pull you, you're going to complain to my mother. So, let's pull you out of here. Um, let's, let's pull the light first. It's probably the most uh, easiest thing we can do here. Away you go, and then we'll pull the side away. 
Solvent deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay. Then we probably just yank it, tether it, and then we're good to go. Here's nothing. Valuable yep. Object tether it away. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable. Most difficult part about that was the fact our oxygen was low. That's it. That was actually pretty easy. Okay, I was worried. No, worry, no reason to be worried. It's a weird place for a reactor. Let's just bathe our passengers in radiation. What could possibly go wrong? Keep hitting escape instead of tab. I'll eventually learn. Okay, so the engine actually looks like it wasn't actually that bad. There's only two little tether points inside, and then it's done. So this should be dead simple. And it's even facing the right way, so the engine... I don't know why it's facing that way, because that's not where I put the tether, but anyway, it's facing the right way, so we should be able to drop it directly under the barge when it's ready. Alright, so, yep, two little tether points. It's simple. Okay, so yeah, just immediately detaches, which is great. You go to the barge. You go to the processor, and Bob's your uncle. Okay. Last part on this side. Oh, okay, you. You are a power cell. Grab the lights first. I think that might be the easiest thing to do here. Then we'll grab the power cell, which should be deactivated because the reactor's gone, but it's like working on a CRT, right? You, you gotta be careful. Anybody work on CRTs anymore? Might be a data reference now. It's like working on a microwave, all right? There might be a residual charge. Basically, if you don't know what you're doing, leave it the fuck alone. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. All right, grab the light. CRTs used to be the same way. The reason why they, why kids back in the day were told not to get too close to TV is not because it was going to hurt your eyes. It's because of radiation. It's a freaking electromagnetic magnetic gun shooting at you like 40,000 times a second. Of course it's going to be bad for you. So, you know, stand away from the TV for a little bit because it turns out the best defense against radiation is distance. All right, great. That rips aside. We're good to go. There's the cockpit piece here. The glass is going to be giving me the most trouble, historically. Why don't we save that for last? Let's let's go around the other side. Make this easy. There are 15 minutes or so left in our shift here. Might as well go grab some fuel, too, because what the hell. There we go. Alright, then pop this bad boy. I don't think there's anything dangerous on this side. Uh, there's the airlock. That's the only minorly tricky bit, but aside from that, it should be pretty easy. I'm very glad we updated our distance. Or the cutter. That makes it just a lot just a lot easier. Away you go. We've got nothing over inside of here, so you go straight Salvage to the reactor secured. the processor. Applying credit. Alright. The only thing kind of tricky about the airlocks is joint points, right? I think that's right. I think that's another joint point down here. Object accepted for processing. And then credit there. I think there's another one up top. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That comes apart. Airlock should not even be a problem right now. Go ahead and tether you. Away you go. Airlock goes into the barge. Oh, does it have pieces inside of it? Let's make sure the airlock's actually actually empty. Um, it does have a piece. Oh, we lost the console. God damn it. 
allocated. Okay, it's fine, but it's stupid. Okay, the barge, go ahead and drop that in the barge. That's right, we have a door problem. We always have a door problem. There's there's doors here. There's a door right Robin here. Secured. Account credit applied. That I can't freaking see is the problem. Um that's not what I wanted to do. What the hell was that? The hell was that part of the It's part of the wall. Um okay. I don't know what this is. It says fabric. Not sure why you'd be putting just random bits of fabric Robin on the wall, deposited. but transferring credits. Isn't this all for this is all furnace material? Why would I separate any of this? That seems like a waste of time. Okay, anyway. Moving on. Yeah, there's there's an airlock door in here somewhere. Do we still have the controls? We still have the controls over here, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens if I... Oh, I can't... They're unpowered, so I can't do anything with it. There's a door right here. I just can't do anything with it. There's gotta be a way to, like, separate the door pieces. I don't even see them. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. It's, like, embedded in the wall. There's, a, there's the panel part, but I can't separate that from its pieces. Yeah, we've got a door problem. As in, I don't know what to do with doors. Alright. I mean, it's not huge. I don't think... Registered. Transferring credit. I don't think it's huge. I think it'll be fine. It won't cost us level 5 on this, but it will be pretty close. Uh, that's not where the engine is. I need to separate the engine piece. Actually, I could probably just separate from here. There's no explosive part to worry about here. No reactor or anything. Where's the engine at? Where's the engine at? I thought it was here. Actually, one more over. No. Where's the engine connect? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Easy. No worries. Push that out. Any oxygen pretty soon. Okay, go ahead and barge it as I get out of the way. And then back to get some oxygen. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. But hey, I'd have to wait for them to tell any, so I'm making progress. Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Okay, oxygen for me, thanks. Hey, our gosh, remember to hit tab that time. He can be taught. Okay. Even the cockpit for later. Um, these should all be separable now. Oh, did we grab the lights for all of them? I think we grabbed the lights for this one, so go ahead and pull that one over. Yep, sure enough. Lights for that one, not for the next one. Okay. And then, oh, wait, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's not right. Applying credit to you, account. That away. Object processed. Transferring credits. Okay, now nothing should be pressurized. As far as explosive decompressions go, that wasn't that bad, right? We only had a couple of junction points, but nothing actually broke. The question is if there's a better way to do that. Maybe with... Yeah, actually, if we cut Salvage something... Secured. Credits awarded. If we cut something inside the cabin before we equalize the pressure with the outside, that might be the way to do it. Because now we equalize... Oh, we didn't do it on... Do we need to do it on both sides? Not for this type of ship, because there's an opening right here that should depressurize everything. Applying credits to account... So that's the trick. We need to cut open one of these panels, I think, to make that work. Alright, that's that's workable. Um, this should be disconnectable. I'll go ahead and connect to a jack there. Yeah, right up there is fine. Should pull you right off. There you go. Kind of pulled the other way too, but that's okay. That cockpit should be severable pretty soon. If not already. I 
Actually, no, we can probably do it now. Yeah, go ahead and cut it. Then we just have the glass and the cockpit pieces, and then we're done. Fastest macro we've ever done, I think. Okay, everything in here goes to the furnace, right? Good 90% sure. Yes. All right, then dump it. 90, 90, maybe 85. 85% 85 sure is still pretty good. Okay, let's see what's over here. It's a glass, right? That's the only thing that needs to go into the furnace. Yes. Okay, how are we going to do this? I mean, theoretically... If I cut, like, right here... It should broadcast that cut across... Okay, it brought out that part, which is not entirely what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Um, dump that in the processor over there. That'll be fine. There you go. Is that actually not, that didn't hit the processor. It goes that way. There you go. I hit the jack. I might have hit the jack, but it's still going to go in the processor. Okay. Kind of worked. There's got to be a better way to do this glass, but I don't know what it is. So we're going to pretend this works. Okay, still didn't separate out the glass part. I go here. Um, that didn't work at all. Oh no, it did. It did. It broke. It, it just it destroyed the glass. Okay, then right here. Very careful. Okay, the glass should be separate. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Send that to the furnace. Away you go. And then you go into the processor way over there. Of course we messed up the door. We expect that now, right? It's just how life works. Running low. Not wrong. But I could tether over that way. There you go. I guess I can grab you and push you this way. Pass the jack. Good to go. All right, now just the stuff inside the cockpit. Whoops, don't do that. Okay. Probably want to flip this bad boy around. That's where all the cargo stuff's gonna go. I guess I can just pull it out the backside this way. That's oh, a computer terminal. Okay, that's fine. There you go. Salvage deposit registered. Yeah, I was thinking, like, turn around and do it, but maybe this is better. Maybe this is better. 16... No, 160,000 credits for a lousy computer terminal? You know, I know a guy. Just saying. You might be overpaying for your components. Just saying. How much does a chair wear? Oh, shit! Don't go in the furnace! No, 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 no. Thank you. That was lucky. <laughs> $50,000 chair. I mean, I know it's space, but also, can we talk about that for just a minute? You're paying 50000 for a chair, my friends. I mean, maybe there's like a contract, or maybe there's something really special about that chair. I guess the average chair has to take exactly one G-Force, right? Has to be able to exist on Earth. And that's it. So maybe maybe there's something special that a space chair needs. It's gotta be able to take at least five Gs. You need to at least do five Gs to escape the atmosphere. Well, I guess you could theoretically get away with two, but it'd be really slow. So I would just credit. keep on bonking things. Oh, it's a power junction box. Okay, stay away from this. Let's back up a little bit. Don't pull it towards you. Just yank it out. Good to go. Good to go. All right. I was worried, but no worries. Now we can junk the rest of this and be fine. But a little bit of pride in your work, all right? A little pride in your work never hurt anybody. Don't hit yourself in the face with a... Locker. There you go. 
And we have one more footlocker. Yeah. And the light. There you go. A little low on oxygen, but I think we can pull this off. We just have the footlocker, and I think that's it. Then everything else goes in the furnace. I think we're good. Oh, there's a light there. It's okay. I'm probably not going to die. Good chance of it. Another light over there. We've got more oxygen than it sounds like. We're fine. Don't let the poor lady confuse you. Alright, pull that into the furnace, and then go, 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 go. Warning. Critical oxygen level detected. Consult the Lynx employee handbook on how to maximize your blood oxygen saturation. Material accepted. Credits assigned. We did destroy an atmosphere regulator. Oh, it must have been in the cockpit. There must have been one in the cockpit. That makes sense. In which case, we're done. Destroyed 6.5%, but that's not bad. We at least reached level 5 on every ship thus far. So, I'm going to count it as a win. I suppose we didn't actually need to buy the oxygen since we're just going to end our shift anyway, but oh well, so it goes. So it goes. In the shift, we're good. We did destroy an airlock console. The cargo hatch went in the wrong place. The atmosphere regulator was totally avoidable. Um, and the doors, I really need to figure out the doors. There's got to be a way to pull the doors off. Maybe we need to do is... Hmm... No, I don't have a good answer for that. There's got to be a good way to check out the doors, but I don't know what they are yet. Figure it out. New hey, Apprentice. Nice. And of course, if we can actually, like, get our O2 better, that'd be good too. But overall, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and pretty... All right, folks. Got a priority message coming in for corporate. Everyone put down what you're doing and have a listen. Maybe they're going to give us some holiday time. That'd be awesome. Hmm. Unlikely. That would be a first. Probably just another Pulsen kid getting a cushy exec job. Hush up now, y'all. This is an important message to all Link Salvage Division employees. It's come to our attention, thanks to a very loyal member of our family, that there has been talk about forming a Shipbreakers Union. A union is a dangerous thing, where extensive fees are extracted for so-called representation of your workers' rights. Well, of course you would say that. At Lynx, our top priority is already your well-being. This is why union activity is strictly prohibited by your contract. That's illegal. For your own protection. At least in the United States. To safeguard you and your work, we are immediately dispatching an administrator to every salvage sector. This administrator will oversee operations and ensure proper employee conduct. They are authorized to correct worker behavior by any means, and they'll remain in place until we can guarantee company-wide integrity. Until then, remember, the company is your family. The union is your enemy. Thank you. No holiday. Told ya. A union? I haven't heard anything about that. Have you? Of course not. Probably happening around the Martian districts. They always been quarrelsome. Those dang Martians. Have you heard anything like that, Lou? Uh, no. Hey, Weaver, do you know when our administrator's showing up? Uh, week, maybe? Coming all the way from HQ at Jupiter Gate. When they get here, we'll need to be on our best behavior. Oh, great. Ah, nothing to fret about, all right? But they are going to be checking everything. Salvage logs, transmission records, operational efficiency. Oh, great. 
You'll be fine, Kai. It's not a performance review. Lou's right. Now, let's just try and keep our heads down and weather this storm together. See y'all in the yard. We were out. Fun times. Staying loyalty officers. Hey, don't worry. This is a closed channel. There won't be a log. Well, looks like things might get a bit difficult around here. They're gonna try to make our lives hell. Don't worry. Just having access to the Union News Group doesn't make you a full-fledged member. Besides, no one from corporate has access. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. If anything happens, I'll make sure nothing comes down on you. Lou out. Lou's got our back. I feel better already. All right, we get a new ship type, the Javelin Tinker. Found we've been just unlocking ship types like crazy. Okay, made some small progress on our debt. We have more on red messages, which we will look at later. Right now, thank you for watching. This has been a hard spaceship breaker. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe Two, and I'll see you guys next time.